Hey everybody, wanted to go into a second part into this um, movie that came out, Jupiter Ascending. Um, excuse me for all the alms I do, by the way. I'm, I have, Sometimes I have trouble trying to express myself right away. Um, one, guy, one guy actually commented on that, and I apologize for that. I'm trying to, you know, I'm learning as I go here. This is what you got to understand, too. I'm not going to get everything right with uh, what I put out there, but I think a lot of people, when they saw this video agreed kind of with what I was saying here about the Bible being used a lot in this movie. I actually just got into a conversation with a, um, a very interesting guy called Phoenician, um, Farrakhan, I'm sorry his name was, and he had a lot of good good views, I, the two, I thought. You know, I don't, I don't like to uh, stay on one specific subject matter with that, you know. Like, like, like with what they just you just saw at last pitch right there with with Saturn. You know, there's a lot of people with Saturn symbolism that you'll see everywhere. It's symbolism. That's what I'm trying to get at with what I'm putting out there. Is a lot of this is symbolism they're putting out there of books of old. You know, and and uh, actually the guy Farragon I was talking to me have a good point. You know, it's um. It's a, a form of alchemy they're putting out there. It's like, you know, wit, like a form of witchcraft. But, see, in their days, they did it in a different way than we do it now. Um, nowadays, we do it with movies. So this is what they were showing here. Now, I want to go to a quick clip of um, this good researcher that I, I uh, subscribe to called Spoken Night. And he actually goes into a lot about what the esoteric kind of thing that they're putting out here. He just did a video on it recently. It's um, a good series he's been doing on the Book of Enoch. So let me show you a quick clip of that, and uh, we'll, we'll get back to this with this um, Jupiter Ascending movie. His dad says to him, Kal-El, you will be reborn at the end of the season when he's stuck in the Phantom Zone. We've seen a lot of werewolf movies, lycanthrope, if you will, the lichens, and how the moon transforms them and they show a full moon being a mockery to the most high as the most high being the full moon movies like wolf where the character jack nicholson plays will be reborn into a new type of body with wolf senses and this is also a very big play on the functions and the cycles of the moon it is absolutely ridiculous to think that there is absolutely no meaning behind this other than just amusement for entertainment. Amusement means to be completely amused by something to where your thought process for deep thoughts and concentrated type of thoughts um, go away. It's to allow your subconscious mind to take over and to be basically in a loop of a trance while watching these things and Jack Nicholson being reborn and having super abilities and hunting uh, men and animals like deer alike uh, really comes into play and this has a big aspect behind Freemasonry with the fact that initiate is uh, blindfolded put through humiliation and it's supposed to represent them being reborn. Look at the skull and bones. The skull and bones have initiations where the initiate is put in a coffin. And you've seen this coffin many times in that uh, very famous picture with George Bush in the background. And uh, they're coming out of the coffin to be reborn. That's the representation with the cycle of the new moon. It means very much to them, and the meaning also continues to go on as they go up the ranks in the occult, the mystery schools, and in um, many of your Freemason, uh, Freemasonry arts as, um, as well. That they would be going to like a 32nd to a 33rd would also be a representation more of the sun. The illumination also plays with the moon as well. Look at the Wolf of Wall Street. With what Spoken Knight said there, it's all like from their esoteric viewpoint they're putting out there, you know. 
It's from the mystery schools. They 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 put these movies out there with hidden messages in them. That's what that's why I when I call these things Jupiter sending hidden message, that's what I'm basically getting at is that they're putting the hidden messages in these movies. And the more consciously you are awake to these things, the more you will realize what kind of world you're living in. And you'll be on more guard, too, with these movies that you go to watch, you know? Now, like right here, she she's in the wilderness. That's where I was talking about with the girl, the woman, and the woman. It talks about the Bible, how the woman will be in the wilderness. That's what I was getting at here with the woman, you know? Um, there's, and with here, like I said, with the, with Saturn, symbolism, symbolism, they also have, um, dragons in this, it looks like, um, they talk a lot about re reincarnation in this, um, because, um, supposedly her DNA is the same as it was when she was on the Earth before, but who knows, you know, who knows, you know, with, with anything with that, you, you, it's, I leave it up for you to decide, you know, it's really, that's where I leave it up for you, I, I'll, I'll give you the examples, you know, and it's up to you to decide if, you know, you think that's wrong or right, now this also too, this movie too, is about the, um, the war in heaven that happened a long time ago too, it, they, it, it, it's, it's, uh, there's a lot in this movie, the harvest, like I said before, you know, and also, you know, with the esoteric parts of it, you know, with Saturn symbolism, Jupiter, you know, with the ancient Greeks, you know, you can go on and on with this movie. So, you know, I, as I always say, you know, I leave it up for you to decide. Um, I hope I didn't offend anybody, you know, with my last video. But that was not my intent. You know, it was too... You know, try and try and show that you know there's a lot of um, movies out there that they're trying to uh, put you know hidden messages in there and symbolism, and that's what I wanted to show. And um, I hope you enjoyed the second part of this too. Uh, and I will see you again for another video.